Hello anyone who may be watching now or later and welcome. Uh, I'm Hillian here along with here, who was just fixing his AC on wheels. <laughs> okay, I thought it's repaired. Why is it not picking up the game now? Or... But you fixed that. There we go. Welcome to the Hasty Show. We still for high definition, also known as uh, Hillian Drakir. <laughs> yeah, we still need to come up with a yeah, an intro to stick with. But I have one, but it requires me sitting on top of your head. <laughs> I think you remember which one. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyways, welcome back to Tales of Monkey Island, Chapter 2, The Siege of Spinner K. Uh, last time we managed to get off of Flotsam Island in Chapter 1. And, well, now we found... Uh, in, yeah, now in Chapter 2, uh, we... <clears throat> <clears throat> Pardon. We uh, fended off Captain, no, not the pirate hunter Lafley, who turns out to be an absolute fangirl for uh, Guy Brush. And we found uh, Elaine again, who is negotiating between an irate pirate and a stubborn uh, fish king, or fish queen. So, yeah, and apparently, <laughs> apparently, LeChuck is good now, or however long that will last. This is a good question, and I'm almost fully back just... Yeah, I want to reload my AC on wheels with some fresh water and clean out. But it's a little bit warmer today in here. Yeah, it's pretty heated in here as well, so I might need to go open a window further. And uh, yeah, as much fun as the Cursed Hand was in the previous chapter, uh, Lafley chopped it the hell off, and now Guybrush has to walk around with uh, a hook. This is probably for the best, yeah. considering how much trouble it made for us. Hi, El Lemonade. Hello, <laughs> Sailor. Okay, we were uh, we got some tickets to ride this thing, so let's see where it Ooh, goes. Raft. Can I ride it? Do you have a pass? Actually, I do. Here you go. One official Vakalian transit pass. Good for 24 hours. I bet you are. Huh? The raft is yours for the day. Just hop on board and use it to sail anywhere within the Jerkbait Islands. Thanks. Oh, so now, now they're flirting back. <laughs> okay, another map. Is that supposed to make it look like some sort of meat on the bone or something? Okay. Let's see. Uh... Maybe it might be easy for me to tell if you, you know, enlarge my screen a little bit. And there we go. Thank you. Uh, okay, that's a good question. I, I am unsure. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, let's go look around this place. We've got Row Island and we've got Spoon Island. Uh, very clearly, Spoon Island is the big spoon in the relationship of the, sea, of the islands. What a dump. Look at this place. It's completely uninhabitable. Uh, uh, reminds uh, me of my first apartment. I noticed something right away. Yep, that's Takaba, all right. This must be his place. Looks as if he hasn't been here in ages. Wonder what happened to him. Uh, there's another drawing of her right there. Yeah, <laughs> with uh, two very pronounced things. But I immediately spotted this because uh, there, I was going to talk about this anyways, but uh, there is a YouTube channel on YouTube. Of, of course, it, it's, it's a YouTube channel. Where else would it be? <laughs> Daily Motion. Uh, called The oh, Legend of Monkey Island that has that makes videos, or well, short videos, almost clips, only about uh, hidden stuff in the Monkey Island games. And this thing was in his, well, in there most recent ones, and I believe if we do this... Whoa! Hmm. It, it looks blank. Why would anyone hide a blank piece of paper in the mouth of a toy? Okay, I did not expect that. <laughs> He's so disturbed! I'm gonna refill the machine and bring it over so I can cool down the room with some, yeah, water. It needs it needs some water to activate this cooling function. Yeah, I need to go find that fan that uh, I had a while ago. Hmm. It 
looks blank. Why would anyone hide a blank piece of paper in the mouth? Okay, let's have a look around in the meantime. Nice cans. Why are those hanging here? These look a little like my good friend the voodoo lady. Except skinny and kind of shaky and more out of proportion than usual. <laughs> he must have done these from memory. <laughs> She's also a bit uh, wider. The path of the mouth. Okay. Wait, this path of the mouth. We got this paper from the mouth. Is there a map on that? Man, look at all these empty grog bottles. I'm sure he was just collecting these for recycling. Hey, do take a note that it was a long time ago they were together. So yeah. a lot can change. And trust me, I used it to like be skinny. Some kind of underwater device. Or perhaps shoes for wallabies. wallabies. The last one looked like the last looked like someone getting drawn and quartered. Oh, oh that's sweet. Uh, books. Musk at dusk. How to match the perfect couple. A complete guide to animal matchmaking. I think uh, I'm learning way too much about this Dakava guy. Why do I get the feeling that we're going to run into him with a goat or something? Oh, it's covered in seagull droppings. I hope it got that way after he left his place. How? Okay, that's the seagulls sea probably flew in. Unless that's not seagull dropping. Yep, it's stuff. Yep, oh it's stuff. Nope. Okay, for a moment I thought Guybrush was getting stuck on a starfish there. Uh, yeah, looks like that's about it here. Uh, though, let me try one more thing because the clip I saw on uh, that YouTube channel was a bit had a bit of a different reaction here when we did this. Oh, yeah. That was the one. Gabbers <laughs> uh, is such a child at times, huh? Okay, you can't see that, but was grabbing water. So okay. can you zoom? Damn it. Uh, okay, I'll show it again. Uh, that's been yes, okay, Row Island. <laughs> but you, you'd think uh, Gabbers would have a bit of a worse memory of that song, <laughs> seeing as uh, the headache it gave him last time. I think I should look around for more stuff to plunder. I love that what? song. What the? <laughs> Again, why would he love it when he got such a freaking headache from it the last time he had to deal with it? Then again, I, I think that must mean that uh, those three probably got some uh, some sort of deal out of <laughs> their career after they were done with Kuipers. Oh, loading. Look, would you just give me the artifact so we can bury it and get out of here? Nope. But McGillicutty gave it to me. <coughs> I get to be the one who picks where to hide it. Sorry, I got it now. Will you at least look at me so we can work this out? <laughs> nope. I bet that's the seahorse artifact the Mer leader was talking about. I wonder if they'll just let me have it. Come on, let me have Probably it. not. <laughs> hey guys, what's going on? None of your business. Now why don't you back away? You're sticking up the place. <laughs> oh yeah? Well, you don't smell so... Okay, this is awkward, but you guys smell amazing. Yes, it's the savory smell of thinly sliced potatoes. Fried crisp and golden with a touch of honey and a dash of salt. <laughs> How I long to be back in the kitchen peeling my potatoes. Yeah, I long for that too. Okay, so I'm guessing that's the big hint as to what we need to get <laughs> to do. Well, to get rid of these two, just get them a kitchen or something. Still crisps with honey and salts? 
that's uh, when I that's a combination I hadn't heard before. Can I have that seahorse? You mean this seahorse that Captain McGillicuddy gave us to hide until all the artifacts are found? Of course. In fact, why don't we just give you the treasure and then rip off our own arms so our captain don't have to? Beat it! <laughs> no, I'm fully back. I had my headphones on so I could still listen. And. And ain't that a Dutch ditch? Mm, uh, what? Uh, potatoes, honey, and salt? Uh, I, no, the, the way where they were talking about it was more uh, chips, like uh, potato chips and such. Uh, it rings a bell for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. I know it's not fish and chips, for that's <laughs> they're very different than the made, sure. But it sounds familiar. I'll have to look into that. For now, though, let's see. What are you guys arguing about? Oh, Captain McGillicutty ordered us to hide the summoning artifact we found far away from the Jerkbait Islands <coughs> until he was able to secure the rest of them. Only he won't give me the artifact back. <coughs> hey, shut your trap. I'm working here. Look, I'm sorry, Merkel, but McGillicuddy clearly gave the idol to me. It's my duty, so I want to make sure this gets done right. I want to be the one who decides where to bury it. Sorry, Killick, but if it meant that much to you, you shouldn't have left it sitting out in the open while you took a nap. And by out in the open, you mean placed in a small box, wrapped in wool and stuffed down my pants? <laughs> Well, if you didn't want pirates rummaging through your trousers while you were sleeping, you should have said so. I've got it now. I'll decide where to bury it. <laughs> uh, um. <laughs> For someone who's infected with the pox of LeChuck, he's pretty uh, non lechuck y <laughs> They might be LeChuck and consider how they distrust each other so much. Yeah, but this one has the lesser case of it, though. Let's see. You know, it's getting awfully late in the day. What time did McGillicuddy want this done by? Oh boy, he's right. I don't care who buries it. Let's just go. Oh. Come on, keep up. Huh. Hey, my raft. <laughs> the guy brush. What? What the? Oh, hello. That was fast. Good and buried. Now we wait for McGillicuddy to pick us up. Okay, now we just need to figure out where the hell they put it. The <laughs> wrap lumber. Hey, guys, I'm back. Oh, goody. What are you guys still doing here? Just biding our time till McGillicuddy sails round to pick us up. You know, I hear that nine times out of ten, the first place you bury your treasure is the spot where it'll most likely be found. What do you mean? Well, if you've picked out that spot so easily, other pirates will probably pick that spot to go digging for treasure too. He's right. We need to bring the treasure back and think of somewhere else to hide it. Okay, we need to pull some Good sort of switch through. Okay. Come on, let me have it. Too late. I still got the artifact. Hmm. Let's look around more. It's a pile of fallen trees. But not call it scrap lumber. Uh, scrap lumber would probably be a broken mast. Yeah. One. Okay, we need to do... We probably need to do something so that they will leave behind a trail on the raft or something. Yeah, and here we go again with uh, randomized, or not really randomized, but a uh, maze here. Oh. Let's see, is, uh, will this still wait, be what? the same thing? Fishing well. Fishing well? They probably meant wishing well. I'm sure it's just a typo. <laughs> okay. That was right away of, to mention that it's not a wi wishing well. <laughs> Free bait. Good for one order of fish eggs. Coupon valid at most participating jerkbait island locations. Neat. Okay. Uh, do we have anything to fish with? It doesn't look like. <laughs> That's probably going to be something stupid. Now it dawned on me. 
You, you said that that little paper thing looked like it had a piece of meat on it? Yeah. Jerk bait. Yeah, yeah, jer jerky <laughs> and bait. More Vakalian ruins. This looks like some kind of old furnace. Or maybe a barbecue? Okay. That took us basically two streams to figure out basically now. It's not even one. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> Caitlin Barbecue, come on. They even changed the freaking naming of it. Okay. Let's just keep roaming around for a bit more. Oh, hello there. How the hell did that end up here? Really, nothing even to look at. <laughs> okay. Looks like it got dragged up there to be used as a cover. It says, sure, you can make a camp at the beach, but you may not want to be on the beach during storms. Uh, yeah. Uh, that was a bit of a. <laughs> We're clearly not far from the first pirates on this island. Yeah. And this I is think a dead that, end. That was dead Bill. Oh, let me have it. Nope. Uh, from <laughs> Muppet Treasure Bill. Island. What? what? From Muppet Treasure Island. Yep. I, I, I don't know why, but that that scene is still stuck in my head. They killed dead Bill. Uh, can we make? Can we that put that thing in there? What? Are you I'm trying thinking. to slip something into our treasure chest? You know I'm looking right at it, right? Oh, whoops. I uh, must have dropped it. Come Sorry. On. Okay. If, if we can get them distracted for a bit, we can put the pirate parrot in there. And that will uh, probably give it away Set where up. it is. Hey, guys. I'm back. Oh, goody. Hmm. Look behind you. It's a Dark Ninja Dave action figure. Really? I've never actually seen one in person. Oop, and now we quickly put this in there. Hey, what are you doing? Trying to loot our treasure oh, apparently chest? not. Of course not. It's hard to loot a chest full of nothing. You just keep your hands off my chest. Not a problem. In fact, I can guarantee I won't be touching a single part of your body. There's nothing there. Sorry, yep. it was probably just a weather balloon. Right, so he was looking away. Hmm. Maybe the wrong thing we were trying to put in then? Wait, do we still have it? Yes. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Let's see. Can we... Can we combine these? Yep, I actually need to push the combine button then, of course. There is hmm. something written here, but it's too tiny to make it out. Okay, so we need a magnifying glass. Hmm. Okay, for the moment, let's take let's take another quick look here if there's anything else we can gather. And then we can go back to the main land, to the main island. Let's see. Almost kind of sweet photo of the Kava and the Voodoo Lady. You. Hmm. Anything among this stuff? Nope. Okay. Then it's back to well, spin our key. Probably turn in that coupon, though. I have no idea what to do with that. Then. Hmm. Like, I kind of think that the uh, conquistador miss his formal love a lot. Yeah. So I think he should take another place to make a camp of, but that beach is not safe. Yep. Justice is blind. Well, now it is. And kind of fishy smell. <laughs> I don't wonder where the phrase justice is blind is from. Hmm. Not entirely sure. Or not sure where it might have started because, yeah, you know, on statues of Lady Justice, with the scales and all, she is also wearing a blindfold. 
<clears throat> yeah. I'd like some bait, please. Fish eggs. Sure, here you go. Thanks. No problem. I just made them myself. You did what? <laughs> Relax. I'm just yanking your tail. You're adorable when you squirm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think we might have accidentally started something by flirting with them. <laughs> yeah, that... That's a mean yo. <laughs> let's forget about the artifacts for a moment. The artifacts are uh, let's see, I get the feeling we might need to get our, our hands on a book that might Hello, be fitting. Sailor. Hello, Tetra. I'd like another book. Sure. What are you looking for? Uh, Maybe some light-hearted fiction. Perfect. I'll get you one of my favorites. Okay, I was thinking Extra. we might need to get our hands on the uh, on some similar. The old man and the seagull. It's about an old man who describes everything he sees in detail to a blind seagull while lost at sea. Oh, wait, hold on. Exciting. I think I'll wait for the movie. Hmm. I don't know something. The voice actors seem to intentionally. That's enough book learning for now. I've got. Go get him. I know the voice actor for that one seems to intentionally sometimes go from neutral to either male or womanly voice, and it seems almost intentional. Yeah, it, it could very well be that the the Valayans are. Uh, a unisex species, and yeah. that they, I think I should yeah, look around for more stuff to plunder. Arr. That they might be Bill. like both, or back, can sir. swap, or swap like uh, Argonians. Yes, Captain. Argon, what? Yep. The heck Ar are you on about? I uh, suppose if you said frog, sure, but Argonians. Yep. According to lore, as far as I've heard, uh, or maybe not completely confirmed lore, but there supposedly is uh, lore that hints that Argonians from the Elder Scrolls series uh, can uh, can periodically swap gender, not at will or anything, but supposedly it does some... work. I, I want some lore about them, and they never mentioned that. <laughs> well, I met some merfolk. And uh, did you find the lovely mermaid lass you were looking for? I'm not sure. I can't tell the men from the women. <laughs> well, just don't go kissing them all. I found that out the hard way. <laughs> oh. How's the mast holding up? She is looking fantastic, Captain. The repairs are holding well. Embrace her, Captain. Let the screaming narwhal know how much you care. I'm not hugging the mast. Ah, uh, in time, you will come to love her as your second wife. Uh, I don't think Elaine is into that. You'll never know unless you ask. Thank you, Mr. Winslow. What the hell? Winslow? Where are we headed? Nowhere yet, sir. As soon as you point out a location on the map, we can set sail. Keep up the good work. Aye, aye, sir. Okay. okay. I, I, is it one? I'm just going to check out some other me. locations if we can go there. Oh, dear. I, 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 I like this the, the, the merfolk here. I think we should discuss that sort of thing after we've reached our destination. <laughs> what? Oh, I love you. <laughs> Sounds like I love you. <laughs> Pretty good joke. Hmm. Yes, sir. Uh, joke. Now, yeah, come on. <laughs> okay, Wait, go right. ahead. Yeah, I was gonna say, I kind of like the fix folk, and for all I know, there's many of them is noticeable female, just the librarian was the one they shift the voice tune a lot. Because I kind of wonder if there was supposed to be a hint that it's hard to tell who's who. Probably. <laughs> I'm not touching it. It looks slimy. That you have a hook, you don't have to touch it. Well, me may not want a slimy hook. I'm not grabbing that with my hook. It'll tarnish it. See? 
Yeah, those are some big seaweed. Is that the same right. skeleton from before? It looks similar. <laughs> probably we haven't made too many. Uh, they, they probably haven't made too many different models. Even as small as these islands are, I wouldn't want to just dig randomly in the hopes of finding buried treasure. I'd be island hopping for years. Hmm. It's a palm tree. I don't even want to bury treasure on this small island. Like I know it's a trope to bury a, the treasure on a very tiny island, but that would be a horrible idea. That just. Yeah, just look at this. Junky. This island could disappear from a storm by it, it just shifting the sand around. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> okay, nothing here. Good to have you back, Captain. Where will we be heading next, Captain? Uh, Boulder Beach. Set sail for Boulder Beach. Yes, sir, Captain. I like this place. It's relaxing. Okay. Hmm. Big rock. The fact that he spoke up makes me think that there might be something more hidden here at the moment. That's a pretty big rock for such a tiny little island. Maybe this is the tip of a giant underwater pyramid from a highly advanced ancient civilization. Or maybe it's just a rock. That was a yab. Hiya, Rocky. That was a yell from something that is outside of Japan. Oh? Yeah, outside Japan there's a very big pyramid-shaped uh, structure. And people are still debating if it's natural or man-made. <laughs> okay. And I've seen well, pictures of it and Back to the even I'm unsure. Welcome hmm. back, sir. Thank you, Mr. Winslow. Where to, Captain? Um, let's see. Well, I guess we can only really go to the Jerkbait Islands and find whatever we have we've missed Let's so far. The Jerkbait Islands, Mr. Winslow. Yes, sir. But yeah, there are some structures on the water that are questionable. Oh, right, you can, you can see that little island straight uh, we, um, yeah, straight from here. Um, hmm. But yeah, there are some places where think where cities or part of them have oh, sunken completely uh, under the water. Um, but sometimes, yeah, nature just gets wacky with how stuff gets formed from erosion and such. Yeah, so with the course of the pyramid of Japan, I think that this problem is the. They refused to found a, uh, found a proper research upon it to investigate, do a proper investigation to see if it is natural or man-made. It just makes the whole conspiracy theory all just more wilder why they just don't take a proper look to see was it man-made or not. Yeah. Can I just say something? Hello again. You mentioned summoning artifacts. That sounds cool. Our prophecies speak of three golden artifacts that have been hidden throughout these islands. They are in the form of the ancient gods of the ocean. Frankie? Uh, uh, yeah, we we've heard that bit before. Um, Frankie Fish. Hey, honey. Can I? Of course. So tell me, when the Chuck handed you that flower on the ship deck, that was, what, some kind of a voodoo trap or something, right? No, that... How did you even know about that? Have you been spying on me? Well, of course not, but I've been away from you all this time, and I was worried, and I was looking through this spyglass, and... That is so like you. Listen, after the explosion... Which I want to stress was not my fault. After the explosion, it was LeChuck who single-handedly... Oops, sorry who recovered your ship and rescued both me and a cargo hold full of innocent monkeys. Whatever you did to that cutlass spell, it seems to have cured him of his many and various voodoo curses completely. He's become a perfectly charming ordinary pirate, just like anyone else. Oh, so now he's charming, is he? Oh, not like that. You know, he hasn't even tried to marry me once since then. Huh. 
Uh, well, that would be a big ass sign if he was up there something or not, because that is his stick always. Yeah, the, if the cursor all was the problem, and he might be able to just move on like a regular person and not have a evil thing that they just enforce uh, not be able to handle reaction. Oh, right, did I say that right? It, it, I'm thinking more. Uh, he was obsessed with Elaine before he died and became a ghost. Uh, maybe he got himself cursed in various ways uh, before he died. Um, maybe as part of attempts to marry her, but hmm. yeah, I, I think it's. I think it might have expelled more than just. Uh, any cur all of the curses he had on him, but just all of his evil sides as well. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, we'll find out more about that when we actually find him. I still don't trust the Chuck. No, but you're going to have to if we're going to get all of the summoning artifacts and fix this whole messy pox business. Where am I supposed to find these summoning artifacts again? Go to Spoon Island. The Chuck is there in the jungle somewhere. He can help you find one. And I hear rumors that there may be some clues to finding another in an abandoned shack on Roe Island. And don't forget, McGillicuddy's men have stolen one. You'll have to find them and get that one as well. Okay, so we should be able to get yes, two then. on Spoon Island. And then the, th you <clears throat> the third is somehow you probably connected to that paper that we found. Hmm. Oh, so what's the purple stuff? I think I should look around for more stuff to plunder. Arr. Okay, he's saying he keeps saying that, but it's not being. Hmm. We can't find anything more on Row Island, I believe. Come on, let me have it. Nope. Uh, what if we pull this one again? One. Give it back. Okay. I don't think we can really do anything with that at the moment. So, oh, hello there. Well, that's, uh... That looks like a familiar silhouette up there. Was he there earlier? Come on! Oh, no. no. This is who I think it is. That's probably LeChuck. If we can but, find our way bloody oh. to him. Oh, thank goodness. I, I thought it was someone else. Uh, who? <laughs> Barney the Dinosaur? No, no. Think, who else has a big hat that we both despise? <laughs> Stan. Where? <laughs> Where? Where is he? I, I gotta leave him. <laughs> okay, uh, apparently we would have been able to find him in uh, Escape from Monkey Island as well. If if, well, the game hadn't gotten itself completely glitched shut and such. Uh, <laughs> and if we'd talked to him about Ozzy Mandrel, he would have gone on a long ass rant about how Ozzy supposedly doesn't know the thrill of a deal and such. With Guybrush just at the end of it stating, uh, He didn't hire you, did he? Not even in the interview. <laughs> Wait, wait, what? So even, oh, even Ma Ozzy Mandrel wanted nothing to do with him. The clam has almost grown feet. LeChuck! Guybrush, oh, thank goodness you're safe. Elaine and I were so worried. Forget it, LeChuck. You may have somehow fooled my wife with your voodoo trickery, but not me. But it's true. Thanks to you, I I'm a new man. Completely voodoo free. And I have good news, Guybrush. I have found one of the Mer people summoning artifacts. I just need a little help actually getting it. What's your game, LeChuck? Lure me into a false sense of security with kind words and sandwiches and then murder me in my sleep? My boy, if I wanted to murder you, I'd just throw you off this cliff. Why wait for you to sleep? How <laughs> reassuring. I completely trust you now. Great! We'll put the past in the past and agree to work together for a change. Okay, I can see why. <laughs> so, part of what you had in the first stream about him with a different voice actor uh, does make sense. Yeah, though, the voice actor for one of the trailers 
were not good. This one is actually good. The other one okay. was squeaky. But yeah, even though he might be good, it does sound like he still has some deviousness in him. Free bait, large oysters. Tasty, for the fish, I mean. I try not uh, to eat bait anymore. <laughs> good. And also, the sock just said something about sandwiches. Now, Guybrush did. This familiar. I believe this thing might have something to do with opening the altar. I just need to figure it out. Also, uh, Lutchuk, did you hang an anger from your lower lip or something? I have to say, he has a magnificent beard. Guybrush, please stop. I'm trying to figure this thing out. But all you have to do is... No, 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 no. I can figure it out on my own. Suit yourself. Uh, come on. We have the solution right in our hands here. Okay. Oh, there's another one. Wait, are we going to need two of these? I could do this all day, but until the Chuck gets another key for the other clamshell lock, this is useless. Good point. Hmm. Oh, yeah, this is definitely something you could easily get thrown off of. It looks like it opens somehow. I wonder if there's anything inside. No dice. There must be some trick to opening it. Uh, so this uh, very obvious crack line here. <laughs> that thing well, is like going to go crashing down. I feel like whoever decided to put it there made their own wise decision for yep. that. Even if no one stands there ever, it still may crack from erosion. So what exactly are you trying to do here? I have surmised that the summoning artifact is somehow locked away within that structure. There has got to be a way to activate it so that we can actually retrieve it. No problem. All we need is another... No, no. No, don't tell me. I need to learn how to do this on my own. If I am going to prove to you that I am on your side, I need to be able to face challenges the same way you do, instead of threatening to cut off your head when I don't get my way. Fine, I'll let you try to figure out how to unlock the artifact, but I will be the one to actually take it. Fantastic! So, like I said, don't tell me how to do this. I'm sure I can figure this out on my own. Hmm. Hey! So, you say you're human now, huh? Well, let's just see what happens when I pull off your mask! Ouch! Guybrush, stop that! <laughs> huh. Okay. Maybe you are human. I still don't like you. Be that as it may, we still must work together to retrieve this summoning artifact. So, how much longer do you think? <sighs> I'm so close. I can feel it. I'm just not so good with this whole puzzle-solving thing. It was so much easier to just kill people until someone did things for you. Maybe you could just give me a hint. <laughs> okay, well, try this. What are you carrying with you? Hmm, well, let's see. I have some breath mints and this thing. It looks just like the thing you used in that clamshell, but mine seems to be broken. Oh, okay. ah, I think I've got it now. Oh, wait, no, that won't work. Hmm. Okay, so we need to give him a ball. A really used look at from the old commands. Hmm. Let's see, do we have anything that we could put in that thing? Maybe you should just let me have whatever you're carrying and let me do this. No, Guybrush, I insist. I must learn to do these things for myself. Okay. Use. Uh huh. Law thingy? Right. Um, use with, use with. Clamshell lock. Well, I don't think that's going to do anything until I fix it. Yeah, you're probably right. Okay, so we need to find some sort of orb or something. A giant-ass pearl? Actually, we're... We have a 
we have a coupon for oysters. So maybe they just have giant ass oysters for bait or something. Possibly, very possibly. And we still need to figure out what to do with this thing. Hmm. Let's see. Actually, fishing well. What if we use some bait with this? Just throwing bait into the water is a good way to feed the fish, but not particularly effective in catching them. Well, what if we put some bait on your hook? That I, I did not actually expect that to work. Oh, I got a bite! <laughs> Whoa, it's a big one! Shoot! And, and it's gone. <laughs> you need a net. Did something break? Wait. Fish? I, I think you did. But you took off the eyelid of a fish. Yeah, we already had that. But I, I thought I heard something snap on your end. Uh, no. Let me have it. Okay. Unless it was my share you heard. Yeah, uh, probably that, yeah. Hmm. Okay, let's have that coupon. Get those oysters, and we'll have to see from there. Yeah. Oh. No, remember, there, there is a giant oyster species that fought for extinct, but recently discovered that they are still alive. Okay. And people used to, when they found the shell of them in the past, used them for well, scoop of water and even bath kids in. Okay, uh, give me a second. It seems that the, vo the, the VC thing is spo is off center a bit again. There we go. Better. I don't know why that happens from time to time. I even did not know this was off center to begin with. Okay. I'd like some oysters, please. Oh, you're lucky. We only have one left. And it's a doozy. You know, some people refer to the oyster as the love muscle. Really? Maybe that's just to boost its self-esteem. This thing's as ugly as a pile of seagull droppings. Wait. Oh, come on. <laughs> that's that, that a bit rude. Yeah. But does that mean that the the calf has the cast up? What was his name again? Uh. The Kasa. Yeah, the Kava. Could it mean that the Kava's cart is actually filled with oyster shells? And I think I ex I think I have an idea of what we have to do now. We I very much doubt that we can just open this thing. So we have to use that oh, wrong button. We have to use that uh that barbecue thing to open it up, probably. Or you, just, or you just could, you know, hand me it. I'm pretty sure I can bite through it. Yeah, you end bite straight through the pearl as well. Ah, uh, extra protein. Okay, oh, wait, yeah, the we need the pearl. Oops. Uh, which way was it again? Uh, oh, there wait, it is. is. <laughs> Uh, when, when was this made? Was this made before or after the first of Pirates of Caribbean movie? It was made in 2009, I think, going by the disclaimer. Uh, it starts up on, or well, the, the copyright thing that, should pop, that pops up. Uh, no, the question is, if this one made off the first Pirates of Caribbean movie... That won't do anything. It... Would it dare hmm. to make a reference to it? Yeah, they probably would. I think the Pirates franchise started somewhere in the in the zeros. Hmm. Yeah, I think so. I think we might. Hmm. I think one of the artifacts. Actually, let. I think I noticed something on the throne of the Mer Leader. That looked like some sort of clock. I, I think that might have to do with the the barbecue. <laughs> That's going to keep sounding dumb. 
the ancient merfolk the barbecue. I'm pretty sure they enjoy cooked meat just like anyone else. Question is, how are we going to get our hands on it without them noticing? The artifacts are sacred. I will not let them fall into the wrong hands. Can we agree to disagree? Hot <laughs> top controls? Wait. <laughs> Come on. That water looks cold. Let me turn up the heat for you. Please don't touch that. We just got it fixed. This is fixed? For now. We are waiting for the proper parts to come in. Aye. And if you don't give us those artifacts, my men will make sure those parts never get here, forcing you to rule from lukewarm water. <laughs> give me really? summoning artifacts. You shall never have them. Let's okay. So we do have a bit of extra info. Yeah. Hey, what is this purple stuff? It, 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 it kind of looks concerning. Uh, I think it's a sort of coral or moss or something. Hmm? Maybe moss. Uh, oh, we, we got someone in chat. Hello, <laughs> Jack. Uh, Jack XQ. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. I uh, hope you'll enjoy it. Uh, let's see. We're currently playing Tales of uh, Monkey Island, Chapter 2. And... Yeah, we need to find we need to find some parts apparently at the moment to get moving on further. Um, uh, uh, be right back. Just gonna refill my glass. Give it back. Shut up. Hey guys, I'm back. Oh goody. Uh, just, um... <laughs> Did Aquaman already appear? No, not yet. <laughs> Uh, hmm. Maybe there's a fair way to determine who gets to bury the artifact. Yeah, maybe. Oh yeah? Well, what do you suggest? Hmm. How about a breath-holding contest? First one to breathe for air loses. I like where you're going with that, but no. With miasma, it wouldn't be a fair contest. Well, then I win by default. No, because I still got the seahorse. That makes you a loser by default. Okay. What? And I'm back. Welcome back. Hmm. And I just realized, like, are these reused models? I don't think so. But they uh, look familiar to other mod uh, characters we met before, at least in body shape. Yeah, they, they could be using a body shape template. And this is the first time that we're playing through this game. We've been playing through most of the Monkey Island games. Uh, <clears throat> Starting with the special edition of the first two, then Escape, non, uh, not Escape From, but Curse of Monkey Island. We played Escape From for a while, but that game was just too buggy to keep continuing. Uh, so yeah, now we're on the fifth in the series, Tales Of. This works surprisingly well. Yep. But it's, it's, it came out quite a lot later after Escape From, when the technology was a lot more, well, stable. Hmm. And we still need to find some way to get these... We need some way to find this treasure chest after they bury it. Yeah, what, are, uh, what are our feelings about this game? Uh, I like it so far. I, I, I heard people dislike the, the one well, before this not... and this one. Oh, but it. no idea why people like, dislike this one currently. We did have to look up a bit on how to continue in the previous chapter. Uh, I very much doubt that this is a good idea. And we might have to do that again. Yeah, that's the same way I broke the toaster. What? What? I'm <laughs> thinking. Yeah, I, I might need to look up a bit of a hint on how to continue from here because we need to distract these two to put something in the treasure chest that will make it easier to locate. But we also need something to get that, uh, well, we already know what we need to get that barbecue to work, but for that, to get the control, we need to get those parts to replace it, which I presume is somewhere with these two idiots. I wonder, is that fish, I think, meant for the one with a blind eye? 
Yeah, no, that's where we got it from. Oh, you stole it from him. Yep. Let's see, what could be nice to put into the chest? I was thinking this thing here, the pyrite parrot, which keeps repeating Guybrush's name if and when talked to. It's made of pure pyrite, also known as fool's gold. I wonder who the fool is. Fuck! <laughs> it's me, Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this thing is too amusing. I hope it stays throughout the entirety of the game. <laughs> but yeah, we need something in there to help locate. And I can, can only think of the pyrite parrots. But when we try to do that, even after distracting them, they, uh... Yeah, hey guys, I'm back. Oh, it went nope. Yeah, a distraction! Oh, what's it distracting? Yeah! Okay, let's still try it again. Oi, sorry. Oh, yeah, even... Bad. Even when distracted, they still notice that. So... Yeah, I'm a bit out of ideas. Yeah, same hmm. here. I am confused. Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to look up a quick hint on what to do next. Uh, ta -ta -ta, let's see. Tales of Monkey Island Chapter 2. I'm mostly going to look for something about the bathtub controls. Uh, let's see. Walkthrough. Wow. Yep. The, <laughs> the murder leader is in a hot tub and we need that controller oh. to get that, that to use that barbecue uh, inland here. It's, Fuck off with all of these cookie stuff. Reject all. And fuck off. Yeah, you may, co may be confused. I was wondering, what, what's with this? Why is he calling the game's control bath controls? It's... But all right, that, that makes sense. You meant uh, a uh, bath drone. Bucket? I beg your pardon? Bucket. Apparently there's supposed to be a... Apparently there's supposed to be a bucket over here. Let's see. The way you mumbled, I thought you said bucket. I was wondering, oh dear, is he getting pissed off? Let's forget about the artifacts for a moment. Okay, a bucket and then give the murder leader the oyster and the fish eggs? Okay. Not sure what for. But uh, there's supposed to be a... Yeah, there it is. It stands a bit out. Hey, can I have this bucket? Well, I like you, so... Yeah, go ahead. What are you gonna use it for? I don't know. So, why do you want to take it? Um, because it's there, I guess? You're a weird kid. <laughs> Cute, but weird. Uh, you could call it cheating, but it more I call it more looking up uh, hints to not get stuck on this point for <laughs> two whole hours. <laughs> Because we yeah, do like, need to keep some forward momentum. Yeah, we, we try to avoid, uh, keep hints and such as minimum. But we will use a war crew as such if we actually get stuck for... Yeah, getting stuck for an hour and such is no fun. Yeah, and only for a ne the next step, not the entire way through. So... Want some? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Give me the summoning artifacts. You shall never have it. The heck? No, thank you. It's not mating season. Ugh. Give me the summoning oh, artifacts. Okay. You shall never have them. Let's forget about the artifacts for a moment. Uh, I you know, you know what? I think I forgot to steal one. I'll be right back. Brush. No, all right. <laughs> what the <laughs> heck was it? What, what, what was he to do with the bucket? Let's Probably to try and get steal some water out of the throne, says Bathtop. I don't want to use my bucket on that. Uh, How about a compromise? 
Uh, struggle is the main thing in these games. Other than that, this was entirely pointless. But some struggle is fine, but th there's no point if you're gonna be struggle uh, stuck on a thing for days on end. Hey, now I can see an extreme close-up of a blank piece of paper. That's not as useful as I'd hoped. Can I just say something? Oh, Guybrush did say that there is something written on here, it's only just real small, and while the fish eye enlarged things, oh, hello. Now it's like a big red magnifying glass. There we go, okay. Ah, looks like the cover wrote down the name of a book. 101 fish jokes. wonder if it's a biography. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> Reward is big after day or two, <laughs> maybe, but we don't have the patience for that, and we don't want to put anyone watching these through that much time either. Yeah, and I, I remember playing some of these games before, uh, similar games, and being stuck on them for months. Yeah, because sometimes things just don't make sense in how you need to combine them. Yeah. Of course. Looking for anything in particular? 101 fish jokes. 101 fish jokes? Really? My ancestors have worked for centuries to gather these treasures of knowledge and preserve them within these walls so that our race will long be respected for our intellectual achievements. And you want fish jokes? Yep. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> Here, this ought to enrich your understanding of Vicalian literature. Great. Hope it doesn't keep me in stitches or I might need a sturgeon. I hate you now. <laughs> okay. Helian? One fish jokes. Hey, there's a coupon in here. I wonder if it's still good. Helian? I will say this. You ban you from keeping this book. For the safety of, of us all. <laughs> Why didn't the fish cross the roads? To prove he was no chicken. Knock knock, who's there? A fish with a five second memory. A fish with a psych man. <laughs> Where am I? Okay. Uh, let's hand in that coupon then. Uh, I expected worse. Also, Those are just actually bad. They're not funny bad even. Ah, looks like hey, that's what he writ had written that name on. Or the, the title of the book. I'm, hmm. I somewhat doubt that uh, the coupon will be the only thing in there. But let's hand them over anyways. Yeah, here you go, Emily. I've got a coupon here for something called Gusanos de Destino. Wow, that's an old coupon. I'm not even sure I still carry this stuff. Wait here. I need to check in the back. Found some. It was all the way in the back behind the monkey fingers. It's even still glowing. Ew. Glowing? With glow worms? Okay. What do we need glow worms for then? Hmm. Oh, so can we combine... No, not that. Nope. Hmm. They look like... Fat, glowing worms. Could we yeah, use that to track the... Could we use that to track the... the pirates? How will that work if you put them inside the chest and... No, that, that should not work. Hmm. Yeah, not on the... Boat, not on the, yeah, the chest itself, but... From the raft or something? Hmm. Come on, let me have it. Nope. Unless you can. Uh, uh, That's not a good way to use fish bait. Give it back. Shut up. Hey guys, I'm. Oh, Maybe it's supposed to make the thing glow in the dark or something. Would you please tell that lady behind you to button up her blouse? Where? Where? <laughs> really? Is that it? Nope. It's still not it. Just keep your... 
not a there's nothing mm. there. We are missing something here still. Actually, don't we have that microphone? No, we still need the controls. Yeah, I just realized mm. we, we got a fish book. Yeah. What if we used to use the fish book at the campsite of the Conquistador? Could be. I very much doubt that only the coupon was hidden in that thing. Hmm. Me? I'm, I'm throwing a bit of a bit, of, yeah, a bit of a stretch on this one, but maybe we need to use the book with this thing. Yeah, for, if it, if it go, yum. Nah. Nope. We're thinking mm, no. if you need a book to answer a code or something. Uh uh. The path of the mouth. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, that one I feel like could be in the, a one or two situations that they use jokes as a code. And uh, yeah, no, there will be no break of hardware. I, I don't think I've ever like... seen anyone rage over a puzzle game. Just, <laughs> just get grumpy and I just Ooh, get bored and give up. Uh, what? Gone fishing. Gone fishing. I, 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 I was gonna. You know what? I was gonna go and sit under my table and weep. Nope. <laughs> okay, just. <laughs> they lived their whole lives in schools. I'm, guess I'm guessing they're. Hmm. Ooh, good one. Hmm. I'm. I'm Let me say this. pretty sure they'll have drop. I'm pretty sure that they'll have dropped all of their random stuff from um uh, from the previous game because people probably did not like that in the slightest. Also, I'm. Are we seeing a bit of a layering issue here, or is that? Yeah. The <laughs> This bit of debris that's supposed to be on the island is being shown underneath the sea, which is the background. Okay, probably the only little glitch we've seen so far. And not too noticeable either. It's... I don't need to see that all warped and enlarged in Manatee Vision. Hmm. Manatee Actually, Vision. I don't need to see that all warped in it. I don't need to see that. Hmm. No way am I taking a nap on that thing. Okay, the, the sequence of events that I'm thinking of at the moment is that we need to get those parts from someone uh, to get the control, to get the barbecue working, to get the oyster, to get the <clears throat> the summoning artifact from Spoon Island. But I don't know how to start with that. Maybe maybe we can get another hint. Mr. Winslow? Wonder. Yes, Captain. Wonder. Hmm. Nothing Felt here. Gavros hasn't piped up with a hint in a bit. Hmm. Let's try something a bit stupid, if it does anything. That's not a good way to use fish bait. There's no fishing. Like, don't. That's not I, a good I, way I know to they, use. I know they say there's more fish in the sea in the when you. But uh, the Catalan and Kurdish, there's plenty of more people to date. But I think they you think it's a bit too literal here, Helian. The guy can't even put together your basic skeleton key of an ancient and highly advanced civilization. Now, to just find the materials. 
Okay. Well, that was our hint. So the yeah. hint is rather obvious. Like, yeah, we need. Wait. Does the clam alone work enough as a replacement for the pearl? Yeah, we need to get the pearl that's inside of it. Crack this sucker open. Here. Hey, look, a pearl. Really? A big pearl. I thought we were going to have to crack that thing open. Or to cook it, or to get it open, or something. You, you're gonna need the to you that to... Yeah. Robot again. I'm thinking. <laughs> you're always overthinking. Like, in, in these adventure games, they, you sometimes have such con completely contrived ways of having to do stuff that you start expecting to have to do something the hard way. And then when you try the easy way, yeah. <laughs> But where am I going to find a duck wearing burlap chaps? Uh, I think Wait, the Chuck what? might have been at this a bit too long. What the heck? What? Here, you might need this. Of course. This thing. Yes. <laughs> Wait, was that yet. a donut duck not yolk? yet. But I think I'm really I'm close. I'm not sure. You look like you're still struggling. You need some more help? Maybe just a little. Okay, well, try this. Use. Yes. Claw thingy. Uh-huh. The pearl. Ha-ha! <laughs> it fits perfectly! Yep. You now have yourself a fully functional murky. See? That wasn't too hard, was it? No, not at all. So now what? Ah, oh, brother. <laughs> okay, here we go again. Okay. I'm I'm guessing this is how uh, veteran players of the Monkey Island and just adv old adventure games in general feel when trying to coach someone who's Use new, like right. well, us. <laughs> Merfolk key. Oh dear. Oh, I got it. Hmm. Use with. Clamshell lock. I was wearing a lot of those old things, you have to type them out and type, uh, as well. It's working, Guybrush! Of course! Now, I'll just use my key over... Wait! I think I figured it out! Now that I've got my key in place, you can go use yours in the other clamshell! <laughs> yeah, smart thinking. <laughs> okay. Here we go. And now let's see how we're going to screw this up. <laughs> Would you look at that? I knew the summoning artifact would be here. Let's go get it. Whoa. Hey, I will be the one to get it. Remember? That was our deal. You wait here. Yes, of course. I've got your back. That's exactly what I'm afraid of, but thank you. I still expect this to go horribly wrong in some way, and the prying tool. Hmm, looks like someone else tried to pry the artifact out of here with no luck. It actually looks like it's supposed to be in place there. So this is what all the fuss is about. Oh. Yeah, that's why it's there. Hmm. I'm not getting it out of there that way. I was I was I was partly expecting in case of broken clam locks, uh, use this. Only of course it's locked on the freaking inside, so you wouldn't be able to use it. It's like putting the instructions on opening a box inside the box. <laughs> And that, that, that's just mean. Uh, come on. Need some help? Yeah, no, I got it. It's just really stuck. Hmm. Try to okay. chop off the things holding it down. For the, your head things literally holding it down. I'm not sure how they even got it inside there. Probably bit those on um, later. Why don't you just let me do it? I'm not saying I'm stronger than you, but... Okay. Yep, he's like three times as wide. Here. Against my better judgment, I'm gonna let you try to get the summoning artifact out of the stone. But only because you're a lot stronger than me. <laughs> but you'd better give the artifact right back, or I swear... Relax, Threepwood. I promise. 
All you need to know is where to apply pressure. Amazing! We've done it, Guybrush! Yep, sure did. Now if I can just... Just look at it. Pure gold. A treasure fit for any respectable pirate hold. Okay, come on, just let me have... And surrounded with the secret power to summon ancient mysterious beasts of the sea. Now listen here, you fleshy sack of chum! You better be handing over that golden sea turtle, or I'll be handing you your liver on the pointy enemy hook! Uh, yep. You are infected with the pox after all. I'm so sorry, Guybrush. Somehow I feel this is all my fault. It is. Not to worry, boy. We'll get these artifacts, find La Sponja Grande, and have you cured in no time. Whoa. Guybrush? Hmm, that big guy has the artifact. If I run up and take it from him, McGillicuddy would probably make me first in command. Heck, he might even let me eat this week. Then again, he is pretty big. I better gather some men. Well, we all saw that one coming. Chuck, I was right. I knew I couldn't trust him. Oh no, the summoning artifact. I think you can't trust him at this current state. Just, yeah, you bad luck. Yeah. The altar's got a couple of cracks now, but it survived the fall pretty well. And it blocked off the... I think it... Uh, what was that there for a moment? I think it also blocked off the path back up the rock or something? I, okay, what just happened? I, I know I blinked, but I was able to recognize that something happened on the screen. What, what was that? Yeah, I, I think we... I, I think we accidentally stepped on a point where... For a single frame it got into this and then... Like that again. Hmm. Okay! Oop. And there's definitely. Oh, oh. Are you okay? I'm fine, you backstabbing backslapper. Give me that sea turtle. Of course, Skybrush. I understand that you want to take the credit. It's important to look good in front of your wife. It's not that, it's just. Now, if you'll be so good as to excuse me, I need to get back to the task of returning the monkeys I once kidnapped back into the wild. <laughs> you wouldn't believe the number of monkeys it takes to complete an evil voodoo curse. <laughs> what was I thinking? Okay, he has mostly been turned good, but there is still uh, a strong hint of the old <laughs> LeChuck in there. Yeah, no, I, as I said, I'm not too surprised if the old curses he had just amplified his bad size to extreme. Yep. Which could have led to the whole uh, obsession for him. I think he was already feared before he died. Yep. Hmm. Okay, so we have one of the artifacts. So... Let's bring that back, see if we can... if we get anything out of that. And maybe fill up that bucket as well. If we can. Actually, yeah, if you remember, I think he actually would use Ibudu before he died, even. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure the reason why he was still alive was, or... It looks like this bucket has a lot of tiny holes in it. The water would leak right out. Tiny holes? Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I think the deal was sort of that he... The reason he revived as a ghost was because... He just used so much voodoo stuff before. Yeah. I will not let them fall into the wrong hands. Can I just say Here. something? Here. Both you, shut up! Sponja Grande, you will not be given. Hey, guess what? I got hey, one of... Hey, Kaibash. If that is what I think it is, keep it to yourself for now. We don't want to let Migilakati know you found one. He's likely to kill you for it where you stand. What if I'm sitting down? Great idea. That way, your brain will be protected. Ooh, good one. Give me the summoning artifacts. You shall uh, never have let's see. Let's he just left the dark side. Yeah, now we'll, be, yeah now we'll be. Yeah, now we'll be like Yoda, 100% good. Uh, more like 95% <laughs> dropping at the. Look at those legs. <laughs> um. Actually. 
We have the, those glow the, uh, things, and um, we have that fishing how, well. How do you feel about that flirt, Helium? <laughs> well, they do have a con uh, they do have a good look every time we pass by, oh, which it. is quite frequently at this point. <laughs> So you, okay. and you, all right, so you're okay with them flirting about your legs, all right. Okay, what if we try these glow grubs? Just throwing bait into the water is uh, a good... Yep, yeah, I forgot. Okay, come on, little fishy. He's so going to get dragged in. I think I feel a nibble. I'm a little closer. Gotcha! Uh oh. <laughs> Guy oh, is wishing he had a better idea. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Uh, almost. Yeah, almost. I see not. <laughs> Wait, Guy what? Streetwood, obtainer of cranky golden fish artifacts. Whew. Oh, Wait. <laughs> Didn't expect that. Oh. Uh. Uh, uh, what by Odin's beard in Nord's? <laughs> what the heck just happened? Uh, I'm guessing this artifact is somewhat alive. By the tidal storms of Nord. What the heck? Uh, we still the have these two fishing. to figure out. <laughs> You call that normal fishing yak? Uh, I, I was honestly expecting him to get fully pulled through some to some hidden area, or at least to pull up a very angry fish. Hmm. That, that still leaves us with these two, and now we're out of those glow fish or glow grubs. Hmm. What would we need that bucket for? I'm not gonna ask again. I said no. Like, the only thing I can think of is to put that stupid par parrot in there. Or in that chest. No. I want that golden artifact. I said no. Hmm. We might need to look up another. Another hint. Yeah, yeah we'll do. Yeah, those two is an, an our problem. Give it back. That's it. Shut up. Um, hmm. Yeah, already had that. Let me have that seahorse. Quiet, I'm thinking. Valuable things comes to life. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to look at that uh, comment later. Soon, uh, Helian. I, I, maybe that's a reference you get. Oh, goody. And uh, apparently, I, I take a uh, taking a look at the walkthrough here again, and it says we need to guide these guys into a staring contest. And apparently the thing with uh, feet giving the giving ugh, giving the fish eggs or the oyster to the murder leader that that those bits were in red text so that's just optional uh, stuff apparently that's not actually needed but can lead to funny lines. Oh dear. Maybe you guys should try cooperating again. Fine. Got any more bright ideas? How about a staring contest? First one to blink loses. Hey, I like that idea. Yeah, it's so simple. Look behind you. It's a Dark Ninja Dave action figure. Really? I've never actually seen one in person. Okay, and now we're supposed to be able to put it in. They are both looking away. Bon voyage. Did you say something? Not me. Maybe it was Captain McGillicuddy. Neptune's beard! If he sees we haven't buried this chest yet, he might just bury us instead! Come on, come on, we've got to go now! Yeah, that might be a good idea. 
That was a bit of a stupid one, though. It's me, Guy Wars Street Boy. Why do you tire me? And did they <laughs> don't notice me? at all? Did they just well, call me? Done <laughs> and buried. <laughs> We'll keep an eye on you too. Now we keep an eye on you too. Stealing my beater. <laughs> and I'm guessing now we have to go back here and visit those smaller islands on the boat. So if we hear the freaking <laughs> if we hear that stupid parrot, we know where it's it buried. Captain? Okay. Prepare to set sail, Mr. Winslow. Hopefully that's the last hints that we'll need here. I love you. Aye, aye, sir. Hello? Anyone here? No parrots. No berry. Well, I'm done here. Back to the narwhal. <laughs> okay. I don't attempt to sing the narwhal the song. Captain? Where will we be? Set sail for Boulder Beach. Yes, sir, Captain. Actually, can you see that without mm, nice getting the copyright like, claim? I wonder if Elaine would let me build a summer home here. Uh, probably. Really? <laughs> I was opposed to put, build a summer home these here. Are, I wouldn't want to just for years. Hmm. Okay, so not here. Let's give the other island another Welcome try. Back, sir. Actually, you, Mr. There's one in the corner here. Onward to Brillig Island. Aye, aye, sir. If it's not here, then we need to go look through Spoon Island, I'm guessing. It's me, Guy Wars Freeport, Whitey Pirate. Hmm. If I were a buried parrot, where would I be? If here? <laughs> I can't just dig randomly. One of nature's bludgeons. Uh, where? It's me, Guy Wars Freeport, Whitey Pirate. Oh, again, people. Coconuts are killed ah, eight of thousands of about ah, one thousand people a year. It's me, Guy Wars Freeport, Whitey Pirate. The heck? Creepy. It sounds like I've been buried alive. Again. And I think once is enough for a lifetime. Wait, oh, right. He has, he has been buried alive in the for the second of her game. I'm forgetting which. Take that, Coxie Pirates. Never underestimate the treasure finding skills of Guy Rush Street. Ah, it's me, Guy Rush Street Boy, <laughs> Whitey Pirate. Oh, shut up already. <laughs> you forgot the time you got buried in the pirate tomb? Uh, what? What? Uh, what's with the crab? Eh? Eh? Um, I'm. I'm trying to remember, but I'm drawing a blank on when that would have happened exactly. Was, was the oh. mm -hmm. Where is the puny pirate and his superbly sickly hand? Right here. Oh, and what a glorious battle it was! Guybrush was amazing. You should have seen the way he. What? No, 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 no! This will not do. I need all of Monsieur Sripwood. That was not our agreement. I think you'd better give me my gold now. Maybe, of course. Ah, but I have discovered that Sweepwood himself is very special. I need his body for my experiments. I'll pay you double to bring him back to me alive. Make it triple. I'll make it quadruple. Once I have extracted his essence and perfected my elixir, the world will offer me all of the treasures in exchange. Now go, mademoiselle. Go like the winds of Flotsam and bring me my perfectly profitable pirate prize. <laughs> Wait, how, how did she even get there? With all of the winds blowing outwards, nobody should be able to get on the island. <laughs> well, you could... Actually, you could row now. Probably. Set sail for the Jerkbait Islands, Mr. Wind. Yes. For now, let's head back and see who we need to use... Who we need to give those... Oh, oh and I guess... He's moving his ships in and creating a blockade around the island. He's gonna tear this place apart if he doesn't get those summoning artifacts. I'm headed for higher ground. I'll be at the shop if you need me. 
Uh, I'm pretty sure you'll be easier to hit. I'll take the screaming narwhal out to sea before the blockade has a chance to move in, so she's not caught in the crossfire. Uh, okay, I'll find a way to get out to you as soon as I find... Ah! Oh! Elaine! Winslow, wait! I have to get Elaine! I'll be right back! No time, sir! You'll have to find a way to slip past the blockade! I'll be waiting to pick you up! Is someone there? I need some help! Well, this is oh. the uh, titular siege then. Then I see that the Merlin has built. and kidnapped Chieftain Beluga. I was working out a plan to rescue him, but then I got blindsided by a falling chunk of Mer statue, and now I'm stuck. I got ya. Wait, Beluga's a he? Yeah. Hello. All right, let's sneak out to my ship and sail out of here. Right, your ship. It's perfect. I needed one more ship for my plan. Oh, and we're not leaving yet. But... Okay, listen carefully. There's always a weak point on the blockade. We're going to use a classic two-point distraction skewer to take advantage of it. Double through distraction skewer. Got it. I'm going to get my ship out of hiding and provide a distraction on the east side. Your job is to get to the Spoon Isle Beach and distract them on the west. How do I do that? There's a cannon on the beach. Constant attack from that should keep them occupied so someone else can slip through unnoticed. Who else is there? I also need you to tell the Chuck about his part. He needs to sneak through the weak point in the blockade once you and I have them distracted. Then take your ship, sail out to McGillicuddy's flagship, sink it, and rescue Beluga. Actually, I think I should be the one to sail out there and do the valiant sinking and rescuing of the Mer King. Uh, or Queen, whatever. Oh, sweetie, I wish you could. But the Pox has taken McGillicuddy over completely now. There's no reasoning with him anymore. But it's my ship and... Say it! Okay, the shaking might be a bit much now. You can see how many cannonballs you can fit in your stupid. I can hear you. Yes, dear. I what was he? Hot. How did Elaine not burn herself on these? I'm not grabbing that with my hook. Oh, it's coals. Yeah. And I'm guessing he was going to say how many he can fit into in his mouth or something. Yeah. Singe everything in my pockets. Okay. And actually, now we can pull off that control thing because nobody's there. And there's, yes, there's a rhyme a bucket in the pocket. I'll just turn the heat up a little. Uh oh. As expected. If nobody saw it, it didn't happen. all slimy with mer people crud now. I think I'll stay out here. Okay, back down to the raft and to Spoon Island. Yeah. I don't think that purple stuff is coral. Mm, right. Maybe some sort of plant or something. Yeah, prob probably more a, a moss or something. Or uh, eggs. Yeah, I think they put those underwater. Hey, it looks like those two pirates finally got picked up. I'll miss those guys. Maybe I can send them a fruit basket for the holidays. <laughs> okay. Now, let's see if this actually does Take anything. That weak point of the blockade. Oh no! Someone's shooting at me! It's coming from the beach! Is this actually going to do anything beyond once? Well, the ship seems distracted while I'm shooting at them. 
Take that right. point of the blockade. I, I recognize that cannon design. It's, coming from the base. it's the same one on the narwhal. Uh, more of, I think I see it on a historical book as one of the more earlier prototypes to make cannons. Okay. And they had, they don't know if it worked or not. Do they had them? Hey, come on, give us a golden sea turtle. We saw you pry it out of that altar. You'll have to pry it from my no longer cold dead hand. The Chuck? I brush, get out of here. These guys think I still have the artifact and they are willing to kill to get it back. Okay, but Elaine wants me to tell you something. You'll have to wait, Guybrush. I don't think these guys are going to let me leave without giving them the artifact first. What's the haircut on the second one there? Or <laughs> on the, this one here? Furious hairstyle. Can you guys please go away? I need to distract a blockade and this guy needs to help. Shove off, Pipsqueak. I guess these guys really want to fight LeChuck for that artifact. Hmm. Right, I was just to say earlier, I think those who want a early design similar to this one that was made for a possible candidate for a ancient flamethrower. <laughs> okay. Uh, can, maybe you can fool these guys with the... Aha, yeah. Look, it's a golden summoning artifact. That's a gold parrot. Wrong, it's a pyrite parrot. It only looks gold, fool. You stupid enough to think we confuse a parrot with a sea turtle? Uh, it's me, Guybrush Threefoot, Whitey Pirate. Why must you ruin everything? Uh, actually, I think I have an idea now. It involves this thing here. And I just realized more big what? alien ruins. This looks like some kind of old. What, what, why ain't Guybrush beating their arses? Because he's actually not that competent. Hello in chat, Noon. Hello, Noon! What's a good Noon? Hey, perfect fit. And they said that heating and air conditioning certificate I earned at Pirate Night School would never come in handy. Wait, what? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think what we need to do is to melt down a... Uh... Mm, grilled parrot. It's too bad this thing isn't hot. <laughs> Yes, you are, dude. Yes, you are. Okay. I, I... It didn't get hotter at all. Maybe I need to get it started with a heat source first. Okay. Yeah, I think we need to uh, melt down our poor pirate, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> pirate parrots, pirates. You need uh, to use the coals. To... Yeah, in order to fool the idiots. Well, they're in there, but they really aren't hot enough to do anything. Hmm. That won't do anything. It's not even on. Oh, now that's a barbecue. Okay, I thought we had to pour in some more fuel. Sorry, little guy. Good thing you're not actually alive. What? It's me, Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. Well, that's unsettling. <laughs> Ooh, melty. Ouch, hot. Okay. But what the heck you think? Of course it's hot! <laughs> and now we need to use something for a mold. Ow, I know exactly what to use as a mold. Now. Where do you where, do you remember where you fell off with the altar? Uh yeah. <laughs> we can pour the pyrite in there and give that to <laughs> to yeah, to Lord Chuck's assailants. What would you do without me, Helium? Uh, not much, probably. I guess I'm going to break this operation. Pinky. <laughs> okay. Should be the next screen, I think. Yep. For some reason, he's... sometimes he stops walking after going to another screen that I need to start pushing the buttons again. Wait, you're lost? But how did you get lost, Noon? <laughs> hey, what happened? 
Okay, so we have a timer. And uh, let's see, what will be the quickest way to get from here to there then? Okay. Try to remember what's the difference what's the best difference between to know if it's pirate or gold like I think gold bends when pirate breaks. It could be that. Hmm. Okay, she was I had no sense. <laughs> Let's try this again. Okay, that's a good one. <laughs> okay, now we just need to rush over. Uh, hopefully, get there soon, quick enough this time. It doesn't help that he still just occasionally stops after crossing into the next train. Oh, my pyrite hardened again. I can't move very far if I want to be able to pour it. Hmm. Okay, you will need to move the damn thing. I think it's probably too hard for that. That golden sea turtle left quite an impression on this stone. Thank you, thank you. I'll be here all week. <laughs> we have something else to make a... Hmm. To make a mold off of this and then make a counter mold out of that. I've got no reason to pry that. Yep, there we had that happen again for a bit. Hmm. Actually, we don't have access to a map here, so we can't quick travel from one to another. Yeah, we, we, I think we're missing something here. Can we... no. Hmm. Hit the wrong button. I don't think the game is going to be so complex as to have to make... That was make a counter mold. Hmm. Let's try this again. Let's try one more time. Then hope for it. <clears throat> then hope for a hint on it. Yep. That. Again, he just for some he sometimes he just stops. Every time he stops now it seems. Oh my pyrite hardened again. I can't move very far if I want to be able to pour it. Okay, so we have two places that are just yeah, too far away from each other. Is there really no way for us to... Hmm. I don't think we'll be getting any new items. But... Actually... It's a pile of fallen trees. If we could take a few of these, we could maybe roll the the mold out. Hmm. Maybe. I've got no reason to pry that. Unless those hmm. are used for a, not a broken mast. And that is where an enemy uh, got her uh, gets her wood for the replacement masts. Hmm. Okay. Can we move this thing back? I've got no reason to pry that. Yeah, already tried that. Hmm. The bowl is full of pyrite. It's cooled down to a solid mass now. Yeah, I can't think of a way to keep it cooled. I'm pretty sure that keep it large amount of power that should cool down that fast. True. Hmm. 
Let's go check out the other island. Maybe something popped up there. I doubt it, but we can take a look all the same. Gonna look for a bit. Okay. I, I think I put in a command or something to notify that. It doesn't really do anything, but it just notifies that, uh, hey, going to hide for a bit. It's hmm, we got about 20 minutes remaining of the stream, so I start to feel like we maybe should look up what the heck we're supposed to do. Yeah, I'm going to look up a bit more. Uh, let's uh, let's coals, hot tub, barbecue, pyrite, parrot. Let's turn. Uh, Wait, it is just a dash? Hmm. If it... If it's only dashing, then that's a possible design flaw if you're gonna oh. be, you know, stop running every time you enter a new area. Hmm. Uh, the, the walkthrough says to use the return to jungle island bits maybe maybe it's, it's a big... maybe it's more based on how many Let's trains we pass through than actual time so let's give that a shot i, I keep noticing a a small glitch there on the side on the left side of the bowl oh my okay so it's not that hmm Let's see. Oh, no, I, I got it wrong. You don't need... It is... It is a distance thing, sort of. But we, we can't rush to the um, to the mall itself. Instead, we need to rush to the cliffside, apparently. Which from what? here... Because that's a closer Let's route. Let's try this again. And yeah, if you look at the left side of the ball, you can see that pirate. You can see the <laughs> the pirate right goop uh, <clears throat> moving through the bowl for a bit. Yeah, I noticed that earlier. I just forgot to comment on it. Says so we were on some other topic of more importance. Over the edge you go. Bullseye. <laughs> I'm surprised you actually managed to hit it. <laughs> but yeah, that's what we are supposed to do. That's face ridiculous. And now I'm a bit sad. I'm a bit sad that we actually had to get rid of the parrot. <laughs> it would be funny if it still uh, does the, the chatter bit, though. Yeah, for what you wish for. Oh, Come on, dear. Guys, keep moving. No, if it helps, well, you do have a parrot with you. Made from fool's gold. <laughs> a rather scaly one, but okay. Hey, that parrot yeah. next to you is not scaly. Pirate eye anyway. yeah, that's the one a bit further left from that. Oh. So, uh, I knew my old yokes would uh, come back to bite me on my tail. Okay, now we just need to hand over the fake. Hey, look! Over here! A completely real Golden Sea Turtle artifact! That's impossible! I saw this guy take the artifact! We ain't going nowhere till he hands it over, or we take it from him! Man, these guys are a tough sell. I'm glad I went into pirating instead of becoming a traveling salesman like my guidance counselor suggested. <laughs> okay. 
Maybe give it to uh, the shock. Hey guys, look! He's got the summoning artifact right here. He's right! Grab it, men! Arr, let me at him! You will never! Arr, head. Give it here! Give it here! I got him! Ouch! Hold him down! Oh! He'll take you all off. That's <laughs> why he didn't beat them up yet. Ooh, that looks painful. You're... <laughs> I don't know what happened. I used to be able to take on armies without blinking an eye. Now a handful of pox-stricken pirates can wrestle away the artifact? Ah, don't beat yourself up, LeChuck. These guys did a good enough job. Besides, that turtle artifact they took was a fake. I still have the real one, nice and safe. Good thinking, lad. Where'd you learn to pull off a trick like that? That? Oh, I've been doing that kind of thing for years. In fact, I'm uh, kind of famous for it. <laughs> I bet you are, boy. Now, you said Elaine had something she wanted you to tell me. Elaine told me she wants you to go out to the beach and use the cannon to provide a distraction for the blockade yep. while I sail out and rescue the Merleader. Really? Are you sure that's what she said? Positive. We're buddies now, right? I wouldn't lie to you. Ha! Huh, I suppose you're right, Guybrush. I'll get right on it. Cool. Good luck, lad! Uh, Guybrush. Jerk. I wonder if it's one of those things that can go one way or other depending on your choice. Right, I'm, I'm pretty sure I, I was going I, I picked basically they all were going to you know, say uh, the same thing it's just that Guybrush did want to say the thing Guybrush wants to be the hero okay now where's that weak point because we do need to get to that back to our ship Actually, it's going to... I'm not getting out of here this way. The blockade is too tight. Okay, that was quick all of a sudden. I think I accidentally right-clicked on Spoon Island. And yeah, he's firing this way. Looks like I might be able to sneak through the blockade here. So here's where we would be able to, well, get through. They're shooting at me! Why are they shooting at me? Also, really, are all of his ships just manned by one person each? Aha! This must be the weak point in the blockade. Now, all I need to do is quietly sail through and... Ah! Well, well, if it ain't a little pirate with a fancy coat, what smells like bacon? <coughs> huh? Hey, who's shooting at me? <coughs> Hoist your colors, you mangy sea dogs! Not one of you has the guts to sail out here and face me! Elaine! You're lucky I'm stuck in this blockade, you saucy female! Or I'd sail me ship right over you! What? And now we can just get out. Go along, suckers! It was nice chatting with you again, but I've got a merleader to save. Where'd he go? Did you let him through? Me? If you didn't notice, I'm a little busy over here! Shooting blindly at a far-off island ain't exactly what I'd call busy, you snivelling spud scraper. Are they going to shoot each other? <laughs> nope, <laughs> they're going to be too busy being shot at together. Good to see you again, Captain <sighs> Freakwood. I knew you'd find a way past the blockade. Surely you have a wondrous story to share about the ordeal. Good to see you too, Mr. Winslow, but there's no time for stories now. We've got to take down McGillicuddy and save the Merleader. Fantastic, sir. Just point out his location on the map, and we'll be on our way. Uh, and where on the map would he be? <laughs> okay. Let's, Let's get out of here, Mr. Winslow. Uh, it's not the jerk bait, Islands. We've been to Boulder. Hmm. It... Was it Island? Uh... Yeah, that's where the treasure was buried. The sail for Boulder Beach. Yes, sir, Captain. Hmm. hmm. It's not here. So that's one of three down. Oh, I... I'm done here. I very much doubt they would have gone to Flotsam. Welcome oh. back, sir. I'm blind. Thank you, Mr. Win well. 
There he is. Right on to McGillicuddy's ship. Yes, sir. Um. Tell me the ritual summoning words, or I'll plunge you into the icy blue. I will not let you summon the legendary sea creatures. You will not have a Sponja Grande. Fine. Let's see how long it takes you to drown with your head submerged in the sea. <laughs> um. It'll be a while. I can breathe underwater too, you know. Don't tell me what I know, you oversized anchovy. I don't need to know stuff. I've got the pox. Lower the mer leader. Aye, aye, Captain. Lowering the mer leader. <laughs> it's like waterboarding a tuna. It's in McGillicuddy. Prepare to be boarded and surrender the fish man. I don't think so, boy. The chieftain is going to tell me exactly where to find the artifacts so I can get to a sponge of grande or end up as seagull pickings among the rocks when I run aground. Don't worry about me. The captain has lost his ability to reason. He thinks he's going to drown me. A merperson. You must keep the summoning artifacts safe, Guybrush! Guybrush? Three points! Then you're the one who stopped my men with this accursed cheap imitation summoning artifact! Uh, it's me, Guybrush Three Points! <laughs> you rue the day you cross back with me, boy! You? <laughs> I really gotta look up that. Guybrush! Yep, that's. <laughs> I'll deal with you later, Stickwood. I think old Finface here wants another dip in a drink. <laughs> here we go again. Uh, I, I think that was a, a I think that was a reference to the, the, the earlier games. Or, I sleep anyway. During me, or hmm. I believe in the first outfit. game. One of the replies Guybrush can have uh, in so insult for sword fighting is I do not even know the meaning of that word when someone said uses the language rue in it and he still doesn't know the freaking meaning of it. Uh. <laughs> Here we go. Prepare to meet your maker, McGillicuddy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> nice shot. Hey, ugly. Arr. Hey, is that your face or? Oh, oh, I see. It is your face. <laughs> Awkward. Oh, so that's how you want to play, eh? The mass. Yeah. Good <laughs> riddance, Freepwood. <laughs> Here we go again. I'll be back for you, Chieftain Beluga. We'll need to get the mast repaired again before we can catch up to McGillicuddy's ship. I know. I'll use the map. Okay. I hope that was a one-time thing, so we don't Let's get sent get back here, and forth the entire time. Set sail for the Jerkbait Islands, Mr. Winslow. Yes, sir. Looks like your friends have driven back the blockade. It should be safe now. Okay, well, that's one issue done with. And, yeah. An enemy has stayed upstairs now. So no more flirting on the way out. Okay, I, yeah, I really hope that we don't have to keep getting the, the mast repaired. Otherwise, we'll be running back and forth continuously. Hmm. Oh, dear, that'd be a concern. Hi, um, a numbly? Hello again, sailor. Please stop saying that. What'll it be? These trees on Spoon Isle. Can anyone just take one? Technically, sure, but they're pretty heavy. I'd suggest leaving it to the experts. Actually, I remember now something. See ya. Don't be a stranger. If we... If we shoot at him, he fires back and... Well... <laughs> intercepts our shot but we do know that there is uh i think i should look around for more stuff to plunder Arr. we know that there's uh, a different tree in the area here so if we insult him he destroys our mast but what if our mast is rubber 
Uh oh. Prepare to set sail. Impossible. Huh? Ah, uh, yeah. We need to get it repaired first. <laughs> oh, yeah, if if we break our mast and then we pair it with a rubber tree, the next time he would he would shoot at us, he would shoot himself. <laughs> Hopefully. I think I should look around for more stuff to plunder. Arr. Um, yeah. Unknowingly, that would probably mean that each time we would try and fail, we'd get sent back here. So, yeah, we need to repair it now. Me again. I see. I need what my the heck was that? Again. Again? Wow, twice in one day. Yeah, well, I'm trying to rescue your leader and take down McGillicuddy, but that guy is cannon happy. Oh, how heroic. I'll get right on it. And yeah, they did that gargling a tune earlier as well. Fast. Our leader's life is at stake. Now get out there and do your thing. I think I'm good. See ya. Don't be a stranger. <laughs> I really like the animation of this game. Yeah, it, it it's it's all simple design, but it it works. Yeah, this is a reason why I prefer more anime or cartoony style or shell shader for. It's easier to good, make good face expressions. Since, yeah, I think we've all seen early attempts of making ultra realistic faces and how uncanny it gets. Yeah. Onward to. Or just. Oh. Yeah, or just instead of uncanny, you fail. Shouldn't you guys be being tortured by McGillicuddy by now? When McGillicuddy finds out you slip past us to get through the blockade, he'll have our heads on a pike. I figure as long as we are dead anyway, we might as well dig up the golden artifact and run. Of course, now we can't find a blasted thing. I know we left it on this island. It has to be here somewhere. Uh -oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Where do you think you're going? Long walk along the beach? Fine. If you stay where I can see you and don't even think of digging out here, that treasure is ours! <coughs> ours! Of course. I'd never stay in uh -oh. the way of a pirate and his treasure. Hmm. Yeah, we need this rubber tree. Don't touch that! No, they, <laughs> they even don't want us touching this. Uh, how would we even we? get it out? Wait, really? Well, that's not gonna work. Oi, don't be sneaking around trying to get our treasure. I was expecting him to go, uh, nah. Oh, it's used to coconut at, at them. Get... I've got no reason to. I can't just dig ran. I think that crab mm. ran off with the chest. <laughs> oh wait, they actually have names now: Transford and Heart Attack. What? <laughs> but ain't Heart Attack no food? Boy. We don't have time for you. Oh come on! I thought we were friends, especially after all the help I gave you guys earlier. So, can't find the treasure, huh? I know it's him. <laughs> it's just, well, we repaired it so many times, I can't remember where we put it. Sounds like someone should have been a little more decisive. Maybe I can help. It's mm. behind him. I think I see a bit of the chest poking out by the tree. What, you think I am? Some kind of backhoe? Do you know how hard it is to get through rubber tree roots? makes it the ideal place to bury a treasure. If you were a smart pirate, that's exactly where you would have buried it. I, you... <laughs> there we go. A bit of a layering issue again, I think. We're... Gah, there ain't nothing here! <laughs> what about that rock over there? Seems like a likely place to bury a treasure. That's worth a shot. Fine. More bright ideas. Coconut? Maybe you left that coconut as a marker. 
Oh, yeah, smart. We used a rolling floating treasure marker. It's brilliant. Take the cook, he said. It'll be good for him, he said. Uh, technically, that's true. McGillicutty would have killed me if you hadn't got me off the ship. So you right. put the coconut where we buried the treasure? At one point, I did. It uh, might have rolled. Fine. We will dig under the coconut. Must have rolled. Try the tree again. Nah, those roots are too thick. There ain't no treasure chest down there. Okay. I'll leave you guys to it. Hmm. Okay, we are at ten, two hours, but let's try and get this tree out. I've got no reason to pry that. Uh, not the sand. Guy brushed the tree. I know that seems like a good idea. Like, hmm. Oh, Tim Boyd. Hey, what'd you do that for? You're messing up our hole. Sorry. Hmm. I always wanted to be a lumberjack. Monty okay. Python yoke. Okay, okay, now can we take this thing? Have you seen that video? I think I've grown past the need to carry rubber trees in my pants. I'll just leave it here. <laughs> Okay. Um, right. I've not seen much seen... of Monty Python, really. Yeah, you may want to look up later uh, Monty Python the Lombiac. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's call it there. We are probably at well at the end of this chapter, so next time we'll probably finish this <clears throat> and then move into the next chapter. We'll just have to figure out how to get an enemy to. To get you know, to come get the tree here. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Okay, how many episodes are uh, this one? Five total, I think. Or six. Let's see. To the third, the manning the sponsor himself, Captain McKillicuddy, kidnapped the leader of the Merfolk and began the siege of the city. Elaine told Guybrush that she would distract one side of the blockade, but Guybrush would have to work with the Chuck to distract the other side and sail through to McGillicuddy's ship. After getting through the blockade, Guybrush confronted McGillicuddy on the high seas. It became apparent that McGillicuddy wouldn't be going down without a fight. Alright. So, next week we'll be finishing up Chapter 2 then, and moving into Chapter 3. It shouldn't, you know, like I said earlier, it shouldn't be too much longer in this one. And, yeah, also, we, we decided on a bit of a change of pace with things. Like, uh... Our usual schedule is to go for two main week streams of a one game. Then on Saturday we do something else or shorter. In this case, we've been doing Monkey Island for the last few months. Then on Saturday, on Sunday we normally do a showcase Sunday, but we also have a Minecraft stream that we have to squeeze in uh, somewhere else for well Coravel's community uh, server. <clears throat> so for the moment we've decided that we'll. We'll be moving, uh, we'll be putting uh, Showcase Sunday on the shelf, so to see, so, so to say, with, <laughs> and uh, do the Minecraft the stream then. And once we've finished with Monkey Island for the moment, we'll be putting, you know, the mon we'll be putting the Minecraft stream, the yeah, screen stream on Sunday instead, not on Saturday instead, so we can do Showcase Sunday again on Sunday. Uh, so yeah, that'll be for the foreseeable future, or however long we, well, we have to need, however long we need to finish up this game and its chapters. And yeah, we'll have to see past that. There's also, of course, the, a good chance that on some days I will not be able to stream due to work scheduling. But for now. That is how things will have to go, and we'll just have to well, be like a rubber tree and bend to what comes or not. Yep. For now, though, let's actually look for someone to raid. So, opening up a browser, moving to Twitch. You, you sure you can handle raiding people? <laughs> uh, let's see, mute it, okay. Browse. 
And let's see. Okay. Uh, Little Tree is on. Brandon the Chihuahua, who is a friend of a friend. Uh, Viking Blonde is on. And there's also some other uh, small folk. Uh, Barn Finders VR. One of them is playing, the other is playing Minecraft. Uh, I'd say let's go to Brandon. He is the, yeah, like I said, friend of a friend, or rather the boyfriend of a friend. So, yeah, move this over to own channel. There we go. And then slash raid them. Okay. I'll start that once I'm done with the out you know, with uh, the outro because I keep messing that up whenever we you know, go to a raid. So yeah, thank you anyone who has been watching now or later. As I said, next week, if possible, we'll be continuing with Monkey Island. Uh, tomorrow we'll be doing the Minecraft stream and hopefully we'll be able to continue with Techno Mage in the main week. But for now, uh, yeah, thank you for watching and chatting along Noon and uh, Jack QD. Thank you yeah, both. Uh, hopefully I'll see you again next time. And of course, always, as always, thanks to you, Adric here. You're most welcome as always, my dear old friend. <laughs> and yeah, anyone else who might have been looking, you know, watching now or later and just aren't uh, mentioned in the chat line, yeah, in the chat, uh, list thank you as well and yeah starting the raid now um da -da -da. Now, now i'm confusing myself again anyway anyways thank you all again and until next time have a nice day and until then be safe folks and watch out for angry crabs <laughs> or treasure stealing crabs <laughs> does as well tastes good